Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good evening, Facebook family. Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose with me, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide and servant on the healing journey. What's my name? Big Papa Brian Post. Hope everyone is doing uh, wonderful on this terrific Thursday. This week is flying by. I mean, it is flying by and I feel it. I hope you guys have had a good week so far. and Everyone is happy and healthy in your life. So a couple of weeks ago, Jeanette Yoff, who is a famous psychotherapist in the Los Angeles area, and I, we did a webinar, a virtual webinar for parents and professionals. And one of the things that Jeanette talked about on the webinar was about being an owl. So that is our topic for tonight, the power of being an owl, owl. I think I when I when I think I talked about that the other day on the the webinar for the teachers I gave. Um, so it's an acronym, and it stands for observe, watch, listen. Observe, watch, and listen, and it applies to everything, but in particular, it applies to your children but it also applies to yourself first. So what is observe? Start with the O. The observe is observing yourself. Observing, and this is kind of the quintessential aspect of being mindful. When you are observing yourself, you are asking yourself internally, what's going on right now? Where am I at? What am I feeling? What's going on right now? Where am I at emotionally? Where am I at in my thinking? And what am I feeling? What am I feeling? So where am I at? I'm at, I'm where I'm at in this moment, in this physical moment. Am I present in this physical moment? And I am operating from the past. Am I obsessing about something in the future? What am I feeling? What am I feeling? In this moment, am I feeling anxious? Am I feeling scared? Am I feeling at peace? Am I feeling present? Am I feeling funny? Hello, Mimi the Oni Owl. What are you feeling? That's observing. You're observing yourself. It's being mindful. And that's so important in the moment. Because in the moment, what we tend to want to do, Annalisa says, having a hard time just feeling done. Oh, then this is a perfect topic for you today, Annalisa. And thank you for signing in, joining in, and thank you for sharing. And I'm sorry that you're having a hard time. And it is okay to just feel done. In fact, I had just, Annalisa, just the other day, I had a parent say to me, I'm done. I'm done. I said, oh. I understand, and that's okay. It's okay to be done. I think you should take the rest of the day off. I think you should go for a drive. If you can, if you don't have a support person in place, I think you should just take the day off. And Angela says, she's done too. Dad gummit, why don't we all be done? That'll be fine, because I'm feeling kind of done myself. I'm feeling like I want to take a big old long nap. Yes, it is just a bad day. Absolutely. But you see what I did there, Annalisa? You see how I gave you permission today in this moment to be done? And you said, I'm just having a bad day. You see how just acknowledgement of what you feel and where you're at, not discounting, not saying to you, don't be done. You got this. You can do this, girlfriend. It's going to be okay. You see how just acknowledging that you are done and it's okay to be done and just be freaking done. Because sometimes I feel like being done too. And all of a sudden you said, I'm just having a bad day. It's like you took being done, the overwhelm of that. The the, the way being done projects into the future. 
and you condensed it back into this moment, into this day. And you said, I'm just having a bad day. And here's what, here's what else I would encourage you to do with that. I bet you every moment of today was not bad. I bet you if you, re if you review back on today, there were some real beautiful special moments. Now the stress and everything that caused the lead up to the done, you know, kind of pushes all that stuff aside. But if you'll reflect, I bet you can go from being a bad day to narrowing it down to probably being a bad few hours. Let's, let's just say it's a bad few hours. Observing. Observing where you're at. It's good to know if you observe that you're done. When you observe that you're done, you know what I want you to do with that? I want you to be willing to say to your children, I'm done. I can't do this anymore today. I am burnt out. I'm sad. I'm overwhelmed. I'm stressed out. And I want someone to take care of me. I don't want to be a parent. I want someone to take care of me. And watch what your kids do. It'll be very interesting because sometimes they'll stop and they'll actually try to take care of you. They'll actually try to meet your needs and, and help you feel better. So observing where you're at becomes very important. Once you observe, you observe your child, but that moves us into watch, the W. The W stands for watch. Watching is watching your child, looking at them, investigating, watching what's going on, watching their movement, watching their facial expressions, listening to their tone of voice, watching their postures. You're watching them. And as you're watching them, you're observing yourself first. So you're bringing yourself more present and then you're watching them. And when you're watching them, I want you to watch them through that lens of trauma that I'm always talking about. It's like I said to a mom today, I was visiting with Mama Val and I said, you know what? Um, Sometimes it is about seeing because she she was talking about an, something I'd observed with one of her smaller children. I had observed a regressed state and she said she was really surprised by that, but she could really see it. And I said, when you look through a different lens, you see through a different lens. So I look through a trauma lens. So I don't just look at behavior. I look through a trauma lens and I understand trauma. I said, but you also feel feel differently. When you look through a different lens, you feel differently. You feel the energy of others. You feel the energy of your children. You feel it, it's a different feeling. So it's not just seeing different, it's also feeling different. But when I talk about watching, what's important about this, being the wise owl, the wise owl is observing themselves. Number two, they're watching their child. See, at this point, we've still not done anything. We're watching. It can be sheer chaos in the morning times. Sometimes the best thing you need to do is sit on the couch and take your deep breaths. You're just watching. The other thing I want you to do, yes? May I ask Dad? Um, Sure. Ask uh, Mr. Harold. Dad. He'll help you with something. So the other thing I want you to do when you're, when you're, that you do after you're watching, so you're, you're watching is paying attention. So observing is like the mindfulness of yourself. Watching is the, is the watching, the paying attention of your child. So you're watching them. You're not judging them. You're not trying to control, suppress, or change. You're actually observing and then you're watching. Because in the watching, you'll actually see things that you may not have seen before. You'll oftentimes hear things that you haven't heard before. Then you listen. That's number. That's L. The L is listening. Listening to the words being spoken. Listening to the energy that is being expressed. And one of the things that came up is I had a little couple, a little sibling group, and we were went through Walmart the other day, and um, one of the little girls, as we were walking through, she just, walking through Walmart, she just reached up and grabbed my hand, and I could feel in the energy that she was not her chronological age in that moment, because it was so innocent, 
It was so pure and so innocent. And so we walked a little ways and then I was getting something. So we, we stopped holding hands and I was getting what I was getting. And then I started on down the aisle again and she grabbed my hand again. And she she held my hand the whole time we were in Walmart. Even, even when she was holding, she wanted to hold a few items. Her sister was holding an item. She wanted to hold an item. Brother was holding an item. But she positioned those items so she could hold my hand. And it was not from her eight-year-old place. It was from a five-year-old place. I could feel that in her energy. And so that's listening. When you are listening, you are, you're again suspending judgment and you're just listening. What's being said? What's the intensity of being said? What's being felt? What, what, are, what, what possibility do you have to understand differently than maybe you hadn't had in, in that moment? So you are observing yourself, you're watching your child, and then you're listening. And that's how you become a wise owl. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I'm actually not going to take a nap, although I'd like to. And for those of you who are feeling like this is the day to be done, this day is almost done. It just just call it, call it a day. And then when you get the space, I want you to review, review all the way back to this morning. And think about what are three things you could have done in this day, in this day to reduce to reduce stress. Think about three things that you could have done in this day to reduce stress. I want you to think about three things that happened in this day that you had control over that actually increased more stress. And tomorrow, I want you to do more of the things that reduce stress and less of the three things that increase it. Remember, in any given situation, we always have two choices. We can continue to react from the same blueprints of stress, fear, and overwhelm, or you can stop, you can slow down, take three to 10 deep breaths, and you can choose love. In fact, I, so in closing, um, on my YouTube page, the Brian Post one, so you go to YouTube, type in Brian Post, it should pull up my personal YouTube page. There's not as many videos there as there are on the Post Institute page, but I have recently loaded the Jeanette Yoff um, seminar that we did, which was two hours long, and I did um, upload the um, early childhood education one. And so they're there, just waiting for you to continue to reinforce your education. All right, everyone, God bless you, Big Papa loves you. I'll see you tomorrow. It'll be Friday. I'll see you tomorrow.